taking the bar out of the rack in the squat seems like a awfully simple thing to do, doesn't it? It's not something a lot of people think about. They just walk up, grab the bar, get underneath it, take it out, start the squat. If you do it wrong, it detracts from the efficiency of the exercise. When you go up to the squat, you are going to take an even grip on the bar so that there is the same amount of weight in each hand. This will place the bar in the dead center of your back. And your grip on the bar is just like it's shown in the book, unless there are reasons to do it otherwise, and there may be some you know, old injury that prevents you from doing it this way, but your thumb goes on top of the bar like this. Your wrist is in a neutral position, and your fingers are all in contact with the surface of the knurl of the bar. All right, once this has been established, and not until this has been established. Once it's been established, you step under the bar, directly under the middle of the bar, so that the weight is directly over the middle of your foot. And you stand straight up with both feet. You stand there a second, making sure that everything is in balance, and then you take a step back. Most people will take the same foot back every time, and whatever procedure you establish for that, you're gonna take a step, step and a half back, depending on what you're doing. And then you're gonna assume your squat stance width, make sure the angle of your feet is correct by looking down at your stance. And once all of this has been done, you're going to select your position to put your eye gaze on the floor, take a great big breath, and then do your first rep. Finish the set, then walk the bar back in. Touch the uprights with the bar on both sides. Do not aim for the hooks or the bolts that you're going to set it on. Aim for the uprights. Once you're in contact with the uprights, you slide the bar down the uprights and you'll always be in a safe position to leave the load back on the rack. Once the load is safely on the hooks or the bolts, you drop down away from the bar and then take your hands off of the bar. Now that may seem pedantic, but if you do it any other way, you're eventually going to have a wreck. And a squat wreck is a bad kind of wreck to have. Keep this little tip in mind.